guys, Teddy here, and today I decided to dive in the history, the short history of the iPhone mini. We know the iPhone mini, some people liked it, they thought it was a perfect size because it's right into your pocket when you go hiking or just go out and you don't have to order, you have to carry a big device. Other people were liking it that much, so we're gonna go back like where it started, what are the specifications of the iPhone mini, why people didn't like it that much. And why it got discontinued? You can say that reason three and four are very, very connected because if people don't like a device, it's most likely to get discontinued. But is there another reason why the iPhone mini left the iPhone lineup? Many people thought that it would stay. People were complaining about it. Other people say, oh, it's a perfect size. Some of them might miss it a little bit. You know, it's like literally a device as big as the palm of your hand, if you look at it. But let's see how the iPhone mini appeared. Let's talk about a little bit how the iPhone 12 mini appeared. So if you know Apple's history, they started making plus slash max phones since the iPhone 6. So we have the regular and the 6 plus. Then we have the 6S plus. This goes up to 7 and the 8. On the iPhone XS, they decided to call it max. So they dropped the plus, they done a max. So basically it's the same phone as the iPhone XS. Just tiny upgrades to make you get this phone, if you want to be on top of the notch, you get the best of the best. Then we dropped the iPhone 11. This is the era when Apple started doing their Pro Max models. You see the difference? So we had the regular iPhone 11, 11 Pro and the Pro Max. So there were only three models of the iPhone. There was no 11 Plus, 11 Max, whatever it is, because we already had the Pro Max, so they can use the Max on a non-Pro phone. Anymore, and this is how we're lining up today. We have the 15 Pro Max, 16 Pro Max, whatever how many iPhones we have. So, since there were only three devices in the lineup, I would say that instead of doing another bigger size iPhone just for the Lego, they can't call it Max anymore because we have the Pro Max, and people might be confused okay, like is it the same phone? At the same time, it's not. So, I decided to go in the opposite direction and create a smaller device which was called mini, just like the iPad mini, which we all know, some of us love, some of us think that maybe this is not the right size for me, but this is the same concept with the iPhone mini. It's the same as the regular iPhone, just smaller size. And of course, this will affect the battery life because we all know that in the smaller device, we're gonna have smaller battery life. So this was kind of the concept. They tried to go the opposite direction and see how many people would enjoy to have a smaller device in their hands. I have seen many people who were unboxing and reviewing the iPhone 12 mini that they loved it because it's perfect when they go hiking or just going out because of the size. Many people were intrigued by the size, but not everything else was good for them. So now let's see what were the specifications and if there is a specific reason for which people didn't bother that much with the iPhone mini. If we look at the tech specifications between the iPhone 12 mini and the regular iPhone 12, we'll see that they're almost exactly the same. There are minor differences, but we have the same chip. We have the same dual system camera with 12 megapixels. We have the same display. Both of them are MagSafe. So what is the difference? The first and the most noticeable, obviously, is the size. 5.4 inches for the 12 mini and 6.1 inches for the Lego 12, which Apple kept to now, including the regular Pro models, which also have 6.1 inches. And the main difference, which people weren't complaining in the beginning until they started using the device, was the battery life. So the iPhone 12 has 17 hours of battery life, which was the best battery life any non-pro iPhone had until then, which was great. That's amazing. Like that's a lot of battery life a regular person would need probably if you only scroll on your phone. And the iPhone 12 mini had 15 hours of battery life. So someone would say two hours was the difference. Yes, there wasn't such a big difference until people started using it and realized that it's draining a little bit too quickly and they would like to have a better battery life on their phones. I don't know exactly what they were doing with their phones, but since there were so many complaints, Apple decided to step in and take it with the next iPhone 13 mini, which had 17 hours of battery life. So we're saying two extra hours, you know, this should be enough. But I guess, no, it wasn't enough because people were still 
complaining like this battery life is not an if you want the best of the best battery life you should go straight for the pro max i know it's more expensive but you should realize that this is a smaller device the capabilities of the iphone mini compared to a pro max model of the same range it's just not the same and you have to understand that they can have the same battery life or near close first of all this is a pro max phone it has a lot more features a lot more cameras it uses a lot more software and hardware where the iphone mini is just a mini version of the regular of course it has to it should have some limitations and the only difference that they made with the iphone 13 lineup is that now it doesn't start at 64 gigabytes it starts at 128 and goes up to 512 so if you imagine you have 512 gigabytes on an iphone mini that sounds a lot but it really depends on what you're going to use in them and again probably since you need that much you use a lot of battery and yes it was draining quickly and people just weren't bothered with having that less battery life and they just decided okay i'm just gonna grab a regular iphone or just switch to the pro or maybe quit and switch to the android hopefully this didn't happen but let's just say that the iphone 13 mini even though with slight upgrades from the previous iphone 12 mini wasn't that appreciated from everyone what's the battery issue the only reason why the iphone mini flopped and got discontinued no it wasn't apparently it also had very poor sales yes people weren't buying the iphone mini as much as the regular size or even bigger screen sized phone so nowadays the amount of people who are looking for a smaller phones is less than the people who are looking for a bigger phone and we're talking about the screen so the screen real estate also affects people choices because let's be honest not everyone likes to stare in their phone like this to see what's written they just prefer to have a bigger size yes of course for this we have laptops we have tablets we have pcs but when it comes to your phone some people just like bigger screens another reason is that the iphone mini and the regular iphone they have the same capacity yes they have the same chip system the same camera everything except for the size and the battery life but this is where it's get affected because let's say that you're using for one week both equally a mini and the iphone 12 let's just say the regular one you will notice how these two extra hours of battery life are affecting the performance of the mini and of the regular one why because you notice that the mini is starting to dropping out a little bit faster than the regular one and again this is related to the battery issue that people were complaining because it also affects your experience and performance on the phone so no matter how much you boost the battery life it still will be smaller than the regular iphone and apple decided that okay since people don't like the mini phone why we should keep building something that people are not gonna buy let's build up something that people will like so they, this is how they came with the plus so basically it's the same size as the pro max has the same features as the regular but it also for the people who don't want to pay for the pro max but want a bigger screen and i have to say that since the iphone 14 plus the 15 plus also they have been more successful than the iphone mini yes if we compare the for example the 12 mini with the iphone 5 yes the iphone 5 has a touch id button so the screen was even smaller but technology has evolved so much compared the 5th to the iphone 12 so people let's just say that customers expected a little bit more from the iphone mini and when they didn't get that even with the 13 mini they decided that they're not gonna buy it and apple decided okay this plan is not gonna work let's discontinue this bring back a regular sized up phone and see what happens and i have to say it has been successful so no the battery issue wasn't the only reason people just in general weren't as happy as they thought they would be with the mini phone so they decided okay we're not gonna get it some people were but compared to the people that were getting bigger sized phones were less so i would say it's the end of the iphone mini okay guys that would be really hope you enjoyed it comment down below have you ever had an iphone mini and were your expectations satisfied did you like the phone or let's say that you were from the people who were complaining about it i never had an iphone mini but back at the time i did have the regular xs and honestly i have been thinking should i get a bigger size phone so really go into a smaller size yes i'm from the people who looks for bigger when it comes to screen real estate not when it comes to smaller so i was like the iphone mini 
just for the screen wasn't ideal for me as the battery life was better compared to the phone that I had but I decided to wait a little bit and now I'm happy with to have a Pro Max phone with bigger screen and also of course it has a lot more features compared to the 12 but I just stated for me the screen was one of the best things also battery life because I use my phone a lot and probably I would start complaining about the battery again with the 12 mini so I'm glad that I didn't make that purchase to have a phone which wasn't going to satisfy me and then I have to get another one and get rid of this one because it wasn't exactly what I wanted but that will be the video hope you enjoyed please smash the like button and like this video share it with friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel turn on the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos and I'm gonna see you next time bye